Ja, veel nog elkaar wel zien. Uh, zo komt wel te zijn. Um, uh, hij mengt een niet om iets succes te En dat is zo. Het is wel echt te zitten next to you with Fernando Carlos. Nou, I have to be quite still. Um, uh, for all of this, I'm not allowed to move around. Um, so, but. Um, I realised the original video had a lot of background noise, so I'm going to switch to this still uh, and go through the display of the hemodialysis machine, which is my constant companion for four hours a day now. Um, and uh, if you're going to go through dialysis, you'll be given a walk through this. Um, it's amazing at this stage, uh, it's all very complicated, uh, but I noticed that a lot of the more experienced patients around me um, are quite used to this, they obviously set themselves up, they needle themselves, they set up practically their own machines, um, they know what to do when a machine alarms and the various beeps and messages it produces and um, they're quite self-sufficient so uh, eventually I'll get there but let me just run you through what I can see here. So these machines look really complicated but actually they are fairly simple, they're a very stable pump that takes blood from you pumps it through an artificial kidney and back in and it's obviously very smoothed out and very stable to uh, not damage you in doing that so over on the left we've got the renal and the arterial pressure renal for blue that's the blood going back to the heart and arterial is red the blood coming from the heart um, and those are the two needles that I have in me in the two lines one goes into the artery, one goes into the vein. So uh, blood comes through, you can see uh, the range of measurements um, that I've got and uh, and that's those are fairly good numbers, I understand, uh, for, for, for what's currently going on. Uh, the third one, TMP, is called the transmembrane pressure. Now there's an artificial kidney in this machine um and there's in there there's blood and there's uh, also a liquid called the dialysate um and this is basically the pressure between the two compartments of those two liquids um and i'm going to be honest that that one's a little bit complicated don't get that too much but it's uh, uh apparently a fine balancing act that the machine handles itself um uh, at the top right it says bicarb running, well bicarb is the dialysate, or is always part of the dialysate um, uh, that apparently is used to regulate blood acidity, because uh, apparently that could, used to be a really bad side effect of dialysis, but um, things have improved a lot uh, since the early days. Uh, and then in the middle we've got how much longer, so I had 30 minutes left to run at this point. Um, the UF rate is the ultrafiltration rate and the UF volume is the amount of liquid they're trying to remove from my blood additional uh, fluid. Now, uh, that's effectively one of the jobs of the kidneys gets fluid off you and that's uh, what comes out of you, out of you as we. Uh, so um, that's the, the fluid being taken off. Uh, heparin rate. One of the nice things about being in dialysis is you don't need to give yourself injections of things like heparin and uh, other things like EPO, which you'll probably have to do if you're on dialysis. It can all be fed directly into the machine. Similarly, they can do blood tests straight out of the machine. So once they've got the needles in you, it's not as if they have to stick more needles in you to get blood tests. They can do it all. But uh, apparently this machine can deliver uh, heparin, which obviously is a blood thinner. Uh, as part of the dialysis and then the blood flow is the interesting one that's set to 180 which is quite low because I'm a newbie um, looking around the ward I see other people with the blood flow as high as 350 uh, and that's obviously the amount of blood going through and the amount of blood it can process so the more you can go through the more you can process now I've done three and a half hours at 180 they did try it at 200 but the machine started to alarm again that's fairly common for new i mean when they first started it it was at 150 um so i imagine that as i get more used to this they'll keep turning those numbers up 
And then um, I'm attached to a blood pressure cuff, I don't know if you saw at the beginning, uh, and that periodically takes my blood pressure um, uh, and does my pulse, which says here is 32, and trust me, I'm not dead. Uh, apparently they, they, these machines do occasionally get the reading slightly wrong, uh, so uh, don't worry yourselves too much. My pulse is in its usual 60s to 70s. Uh, for that, but 148 over 82, nah, that's not bad for me, I'll take that score, um, I haven't learned what the buttons on the right do yet, I'll gradually learn that as we go on, I imagine, keep observing what the nurses do, um, but yeah, so this is it, that's what you have to sit next to for four hours, and hopefully I'll learn more about it in the coming days. So the big question of course is, um, what does it feel like after I've now done just over three and a half hours uh, while I'm talking to you? Um, it's quite sore. It stings while it's going on. Um, it's not too bad. They're giving me painkillers. So it's just some paracetamol just to take the edge off. If I'm thinking the worst thing actually is uh, a bit of discomfort from having to sit still for four hours. Um, yeah, just need to wiggle, but you can't wiggle. Um, so. Uh, but as you can see, I've got my laptop. I've been able to see and play games or do a bit of work, uh, depending. So um, it's not too bad. We'll see how the next one gets on. It's uh, a few hours after I've finished dialysing now, and I thought I'd just add this little postscript uh, for the video today. Um, so in the immediate aftermath, I felt pretty good. Obviously quite stiff from being in bed for four and a bit hours, uh, just sitting there doing nothing, which is probably the biggest challenge. Um, after that, after we got out, I think uh, I felt kind of a bit lightheaded, but um, not necessarily in, the, in, in a good way. Um, I sort of recall the Douglas Adams quote from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy it's unpleasantly like being drunk uh, what's so unpleasant about being drunk I was sort of lying uh, the answer was ask a glass of water um, so I had that light headed feeling um, but at the same time I had sort of a that sort of headache uh, and that dryness of mouth that furry sort of uh, sort of a bit morning rough uh, feeling as well um, from possibly from dehydration which apparently is fairly normal uh, so we'll see how we get on next time uh, but I think on the whole all good and uh, in the meantime take care and I'll see you in a couple of days